What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you exactly what you're going to be doing uh, working for me as a VA. There's really only two sources that you're going to be getting leads from. I'll either supply you a lead list or you're going to be able to access my LinkedIn Sales Navigator account where you'll be able to pull up lead lists. They'll include information like the lead's name directly there as well as the company name. I'm going to show you a quick walkthrough on how you can use the LinkedIn Sales Navigator, perform searches, get people's LinkedIn profiles, and how you can quickly add them to a Google Sheet with name of the company, name of the business owner, phone number to reach them at. From there, you guys can immediately call them. That whole process takes about one minute, so you guys can create leads with the name directly in them. You'll also be supplied with two different scripts one of them is for when you do have the potential client's name or the prospect's name. One is for when you don't have the prospect's name for the D7 lead, uh, for these lead lists that I'm going to be supplying. So these lead lists that I'm going to be supplying are really straightforward. You're going to get the business's name, the telephone, uh, email address, city, state, so you're going to be able to just pick up the phone, call these leads. The script will kind of walk you through how you can get their name really quickly from not even having it, from just having the business name, the telephone number. So the script with where you don't have the business owner's name will kind of walk you through that. When you do have the business owner's name, which I'm going to show you how you can get the leads from LinkedIn very, very quickly. This should always take at least just no more than one minute, right? So you'll obviously already be logged into my LinkedIn sales navigator. You're going to go and perform a search. You're going to click all filters. You're going to come down here to keywords, depending on what the niche, the type of business owner we're targeting is, you'll put the keyword in there. And for the most part, you guys are going to be targeting roofers, right? So you're going to put roofers, you're going to come down, you're going to select a geographical area. I will supply you with what area and keyword type of service industry that you guys are going to be targeting. We're going to start in one area. Let's just say for this example, we're talking about Los Angeles, or let's even go somewhere bigger, right? California. Right. California. And then you guys are going to come down to title and you're gonna put in owner. And it'll allow, and it'll show you a pop-up, go ahead and click owner, right? So you'll know you've done it correctly because it'll sh show you a little owner tag right here. It'll say California, it'll show a little tag for that right there. And then in keywords, it just says roofers, right? It'll show you about how many results they have, about 1.5,000 or 1,500 results. Um, so let's just take a look here. Really quickly, for all these leads, all you're going to have to do, you're going to have a Google Sheet already set up before this, right? You're gonna go to, you can even just look up Google Sheets. Just look it up on Google. You should be signed into your Google account, right? You're going to open up a new spreadsheet, a blank spreadsheet. Go ahead and put three sections here right? Actually, we'll make it four. First section is going to be business name. Second section is going to be owner's name. Third section is going to be phone number. It's not gonna come up and you guys won't really need city or any other information besides this. This is the essential information you guys are going to need right here. Uh, let's see, anything else that I think you guys should include? You guys can definitely go ahead and take a little bit of notes on the actual uh, call itself. Go ahead and leave those here. You can kind of, once you add a lead and call them, right from LinkedIn, you add them here, you call them up. If they're a, a possible lead. Of course, there's more processes that you guys are going to go through. You guys are obviously going to book them an appointment. You guys are obviously going to, you know, collect their personal information and you guys can go ahead and put like their phone number or not their phone number, like best phone number. 
their, let's see, uh, best email and you can, and if they are a good lead, you're going to go ahead and put in their website and let's see, you can go ahead and include in, if they did book an appointment, you're going to highlight them green, right? So you're going to come here, you're going to click fill color and you're going to highlight them green, right? If they didn't book, you can just leave it alone. Don't, don't put any color in there. So that's the basics for setting up this quick little Google sheet. You can title it, um, let's see, LinkedIn, because it's roofers, roofers, California. Keep this nice and organized, just name it what it is. You're gonna immediately go and you're gonna share it with me before anything else, right? You're going to add lewis.m.diaz.j at gmail.com. You're going to share this with me. It'll pop up my name. Go ahead and click my name and send, right? So obviously I'm the one who made this sheet, so I don't have to share it with myself, but you guys in the future, I want you to go ahead and immediately share it with me. Um, add me onto this sheet so that I can see, you know, how you guys are doing, how many leads you went through, how many um, booked appointments you guys got, who you spoke to. Uh, let's see here, as well as, you know, what search you guys were doing on LinkedIn so that I can make sure other people aren't doing the same search. So, right, here's how you guys are going to do it. Really quick, really simple. We're going to come here. We're going to go million dishkosh, whatever that is, whatever that name is. Sorry, guys, if you know exactly what that name says and I'm completely butchering it. Let's see. We're going to copy it. We're going to come here. We're going to put it in owner's name section. Cool. Now, the reason I like the LinkedIn leads a little bit better is because it may be a little bit more updated, but it's really easy to get those that business owner's name. So you guys are going to come here. And as well, just so you know, you guys might get some construction companies, some other companies that aren't, you know, direct like remodeling or something that doesn't directly say roofing. When you call them up, you know, just edit the script so that you are specifically hitting on whatever the main service they provide is, right? So we came here, we looked up MMD construction. We can also go ahead and copy this. So it's really easy, right? First step, we're going to click on their profile. We'll, we'll take this. It's a four step process from the new search, right? We have the roofers in California search pulled up. Click on their name. From clicking on their name, you're going to copy their name, bring it to the LinkedIn sheet paste their name. Then you're going to come back here. You're going to copy the business's name. You're going to Google search that business. Once you have that business pulled up, you're just going to quickly copy the number, quickly copy the number, bring that over here to the phone number section, and then come back. Just copy the business name real quick and add it into the business name section. Now you guys have all the information you need to give them a call. Really simple, really straightforward. Uh, one thing that I personally do, and this is just to kind of quickly qualify the leads, I, I like to, if they have a very obvious service right here, you can look up custom home builders and this, uh, never mind guys, don't actually be doing that. Just, just go ahead and follow through with this. Every lead that you guys see, give them a call, swipe their name, paste it in the Google Doc, swipe the company name, look up the company, swipe the phone number, put it in the Google Doc, grab the company name, put it in the Google Doc, call them up. Grabbing the company's information, all of this stuff right here, even setting up the Google Doc took me about five minutes, um, as well as walking you guys through it. Uh, pulling up LinkedIn, performing the search took me less than 30 seconds. Pulling one person's information took me less than a minute. So really, you know, you guys should be coming in here first five minutes, pull up LinkedIn sales navigator, pull up your lead list for the day, pull up your trap, make a sheet for tracking the uh, roofers you're calling from LinkedIn. Also as well, I'd prefer if you guys went ahead and you guys don't actually have to make a sheet for this since they are already organized on this uh, spreadsheet right here. 
But just go ahead and whenever you get in touch with someone, any of these that you guys are talking to, just go ahead and similarly highlight the name. Let's go ahead and we'll make it, if they did respond and they're a book lead, go ahead and make their name green. Oh, I didn't actually do it to the right one. Let's see here. If we can make this happen how I want it to happen and then you guys will know exactly how to do it. Shoot, sorry guys, don't save. Let's see if I can make this happen, come on. <clears throat> Let's see here, sell. Okay, so you guys are going to go ahead and once you're on the numbers thing, right, you're gonna click here, and you're gonna click on the sell, and just go ahead and click here where it shows this little little color wheel. Go ahead and highlight them green if they were a if they did respond and they booked a, a, a an appointment with us. If they didn't if they didn't answer, go ahead and color the cell. Let's just say yellow yellow if they didn't answer, and then red if they said no. So green they said yes and they booked an appointment. Yellow they said they did not answer red they said no really straightforward guys really simple this is uh, going to be the entirety of it you just need to make sure you guys are keeping track of who books an appointment um one one quick note i about the uh, script when you guys are going ahead and you know booking them in for that call make sure you guys are going into the calendar calendly page um where someone would actually book an appointment and just do the the whole process for them put in their full first name ask them ask for their best email address ask for the best phone number um you know you guys should be easily able to throw in the company name and the website uh it should be a really easy search it, it sometimes looks better because we don't want to be asking them hey you know what's the company name what's the website you know we should know this simple information so really that's all i have for you guys there if you do have any uh questions about anything I went over here, really straightforward. You're just going to be utilizing LinkedIn Sales Navigator, pulling the leads, making lists on Google Sheets and calling them immediately. So you're not going to pull a bunch of people's information and then call a bunch of people. You're going to pull one person's information, call that person, pull the next person's information, call that person. So Google Sheets, just to help you guys keep everything organized. Hope this was straightforward enough for you. If you have any questions, once again, just reach out to me. Thanks.